My skin is my mother Eleanor's. My skin is my father Stan's. My skin is my grandmother Helen and my grandmother Julia. My skin is Wesley McCoy, my mother's father. He is 91 years old. My skin is my great great grandmother. She was a Cherokee Indian who could sit on her long jet black hair. My skin is the DNA result of all my ancestors and has the beginnings of my future children and their children. My caramel brown represents me but also my history and those who came before me and will come after. They were all shades and beautiful. I honor, love, and take pride in my skin because of them. My skin is God's wrapper for me. It protects me, and in turn, I protect it. Eating well, drinking well, exercising hard, breathing deep, moisturizing daily, and what my mother taught me. Staying in the spirit of gratitude, positivity, and joy. The best skincare secret of all. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing real good. You're down there for the Essence Festival. Uh, but you excited about the weekend? I'm so excited. I've never been and I've heard about it and I'm just so thrilled that I got a chance to come. Well, you got a chance to come down for the Essence, but you're actually here uh, talking a little bit about your documentary that you just had with uh, Vaseline and Cocoa Butter. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a Vaseline Cocoa Butter approached me to be a part of this campaign um, and, and documentary called Skin Stories. And basically we go around the world and ask people of color what their skin means to them and how they honor their skin. And it really was just an inspiring um, project for me. You know, I really believe that we as a people are beautiful and too often we're told the opposite and it was a great opportunity to just highlight those positive messages about ourselves. And when I was taking a look at the documentary it was as much about what you just talked about and you can uh, expand on this a little bit. Uh, it also seemed to be a sense of racial pride when you started looking at some of the yeah. different people from so many other countries. Go into that a little bit. Well your skin is you know a symbol of your identity and it represents all the people that came before you which is you know your race or the races that made up who you are so obviously people are going to bring up that sense of pride. You, you talked a little bit about uh, this being like a rapper for you in terms of the way God described it. Uh, that was one of the things on the promo. How did that all revolve when you were at Cal in terms of how did skin, uh, you, in terms of being looked at by others, how did you uh, see that evolve at Cal? Well, I had a great time at Cal. Cal was like the first time that I actually, you know, kind of grew up and started taking African American history and started really learning about my history and as a result, you know, got to see all of the horrors and also all of the wonderful, you know, really had a sense of pride. I was involved with um, Black Theater Workshop. That's actually where I really got serious about acting. I was involved in a group that where we worked on plays by black authors and developed our own plays. So, Cal, that was a great time in my life for, you know, my identity as a black woman. Well, you're down here in New Orleans, and uh, we talked about that a little earlier. There's some other projects that you have on the horizon. Uh, and one I want to ask you about is called uh, Protecting Jimmy Leon. Could you tell us a little bit about where that's at right now? Yeah, you know, it's so funny because that's a project that's actually, you know, it's a project that I'm attached to, but it's not a project. On, on IMDb, they'll, sometimes they'll list things, and it's not necessarily something that's real. So the two projects that I have right now that are coming out, or the family that prays. It's a Tyler Perry movie. It's coming out mid-September, and um, it's, a, it's I'm really excited about that. It's a great cast, and a movie called Wonderful World with Matthew Broderick. I play an African woman, and that's coming out later on this year. So I'm excited about both of those. And Broderick in that movie doesn't believe in miracles at all. It seems like he, he, he denies a lot of miracles. Uh, talk a little bit about that and your role, I believe, as his sister, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not his sister. I play his roommate's sister. I play a woman from Senegal. And um, he plays, uh, Matthew plays a man who has kind of lost all hope and is a real cynic. And it's kind of his journey to find his, his like, his dreamer again, his innocence, his, you know, 
And in Tyler Perry's movie, uh, it talks a little bit about two different families who, who struggle a bit. And and your role in that movie, you're a newlywed, and you actually um, have a an extramarital affair outside of the movie. If that, I mean, excuse me, outside of your relationship, so how was that a new challenge for you? You know, every role I do, I always try and make it a challenge, and so. Yeah, it was a challenge in that way, but it was fun. It was fun to play. Um, I like, you know, I like part of the fun of acting is being able to play vastly different characters. And so this one was yet another one where I felt, you know, it challenged by it. I've got to ask you something else, too. Uh, one of my favorite shows of all time was Dallas. Um, <laughs> Dallas, really? yeah, no doubt. And during Nip and Tuck, you actually worked with uh, Larry Hagman. And, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> And how was that? I mean, not only were you, uh, it, it was an interracial relationship, first of all, but also you were much younger as his wife. How was that? that was that, you talked about challenges a minute ago. Um, what, what kind of challenge did that present? You know, I had such a great time working on Nip Tuck. Larry Hagman, you know, I think he's in like his mid to late 70s, and he came on set and he was like a kid. Like he, you would never have known that he was such the veteran. He came on set and it was as if it was his first day of work. He was very enthusiastic. He had so many stories to tell. So I had a, I had a blast working with him. It was great. Well, I, I know you've taught, uh, I believe, Regina Hall how to do the electric slide before. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully this uh, weekend you get a chance to dance a little bit and enjoy the rest of the essence. Thanks a lot for your time. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.